This is a basis fast charging and data cable. It's rated at 240 watts. That basically means it's a USB-C power delivery 3.1. It's a 5 amp cable. So if you have a device that can get up to the 40 some volts, uh, I think it's 48 volts, this guy can do 5, volt, 5 amps at 48 volts and do 240 watts. I actually am not going to be able to test it all the way to 240 watts. I'll be able to test it to 100 watts because my devices go up to 20 volts, but they do hit 5 amps. And so if it does 5 amps at 20 volts, it'll probably do 5 amps at 48 volts. I was given this cable to review for free. If you wanted to purchase one, it's going to cost you somewhere between $12 and $15, um, depending on your discounts. I have not been paid for this review, and my opinions are my own. So in the box we have a sticker pack, a warranty card, and a declaration of conformity. It's a cable. It's USB-C at both ends. It comes with a nice little Velcro cable management strap. It's nylon braided, um, you know, flexible, but not super flimsy. And it is supposed to be 6.6 .6 feet long, I believe. Two meter, it's a two meter cable. So yeah, that's just a little bit longer than six feet long there. All right, so let's go put some watts through this thing and confirm things work. All right, we have a 100 watt power supply, our six foot cable, and a 100 watt load. This is USB-C power delivery, 20 volts. So right there, it's hit 20 volts. It's now negotiating up at the amperage. Amperage is ramping up. Pass three. All right, this is a five amp cable. So obviously it's six feet long. We're going to have a little bit of voltage drop over that line. Um, the amp draw here is only 4.82. So the total power is 95.6. So, you know, it's getting 96% of the specified five amps here. Now, if I had devices that could do 48 volts, I have no question in my mind that this cable would transfer, you know, 96% of the 240 volt or 240 watt rating. Um, you know, so this cable is meeting its specifications for the USB-C power delivery. It is a five amp cable. All right, I'm copying a file from my phone, and the speed is 21.4 megabytes a second. That's basically the same speed I always get from my phone to this computer, so this cable is doing just as well as every other table I've used. Now, I actually don't like this length. I like the three foot length for tabletop use and the 10 foot length for like going from the front of your car back to your son in the back seat. Um, the six foot length can be useful if you're connecting a device like a webcam that's really far away from your computer or maybe to telescope connecting up to a power bank or something like that. Um, but in a lot of cases, I like the three foot or the 10 foot length and they sell this in all three lengths. So, you know, pick the length you're looking for. All right, I tried data transfer. This cable worked just as well as any other cable I've ever tested. Um, I verified it does five amps USB-C power delivery. I really was not surprised at this. I reviewed several items by basis and they've all met their specifications. So really your, your decision point here is this is a premium cable and you're gonna be paying kind of premium cable prices for it. It's so premium it actually has these little plastic covers that protect the metallic um, ends of the cable you have to take off. And so it really comes down to a matter of do you want the nice cables? Um, cables you don't have to worry about, you know they're going to transfer the power, you know they're going to transfer the data, come with all the nice features for cable management, you know, nice nylon braiding. Um, so if you're willing to pay a little bit more, you can get quality cables, you never have to worry about are they going to meet specifications or not.